Dumelang, Sanbonani. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Susan Muloto. I'm from South Africa in Johannesburg, and I'm working for Soweto Hospice. I'm a home care sister looking after patients at home in Soweto. I've been working for Soweto Hospice for 13 years, doing the same job because I love what I'm doing. It's a passion that drives me. But where I work is the poorest of the poor area. Most, if not all of them, are unemployed. They cannot afford to pay for any of the medical bills, so they entirely depend on hospice. They don't have food in their homes. They don't have free running water. They don't have electricity in the house. They don't have access to medication. So where to hospice is committed to giving quality care to patient irrespective of color, irrespective of creed, irrespective of the ability to pay. We endeavor and it's our mission to make sure that our patients are always comfortable, they are free from pain, they've got dignity, they are at peace. As a home care sister, when we do our visit, we observe everyone, everybody in the family. And at times, the mother or the father passes on, leaving the little ones at home. So we as home care sister, we identify such babies. And hospice has taken upon itself to make sure that these children are well looked after. We have a daycare, which we call Mapeta Daycare, which looks after the offer that have been given, breakfast, lunch, and then an afternoon tea, snacks, and then they have been taken back home. Most of our orphans are looked after by their grandmothers or their great-grandmothers. Our inpatient unit, the reasons for admitting there, the first one I would say is for respite. Other patients, we admit them for terminal care. We also admit our patients for symptom control. We have a beautiful team that cooks at our Soweto Hospice. They know how to do their thing. Our adult care is just a walk-in daycare facility. Our patients uh, come in on a day-to-day -day basis. They are kept busy. Our pediatric unit is a very child, or can I say baby-friendly uh, unit. We also admit patients who were born with the HIV virus. We also admit a lot of cancer children there who are very terminal. So where to hospice depends entirely on donation. That's why Soweto Hospice is so grateful with the partnership that we have with, with Sun Coast Hospice. We depend entirely on donations and we really appreciate everybody, everyone, even a dollar, anything that can be donated. Make, we make sure that it's put to good use at our Soweto Hospice.